what's good ladies and gentlemen you already know what it is welcome back to episode three of survival of the fitted you're chilling here with intern joe on the other side we got mr ian pierno aka poppy pierno and i just want to dive into the first topic here which is the terrence man hype train i just want to say me and you we've been on this terrence man hype train way before you know i'm not gonna say the media outlets but way before the other people were what do you think about that a way way before man we were posting Terrence Mann fits when dude was like a borderline G League player. Like, no disrespect, because obviously he should have been getting more minutes all along. But 39 points in the playoffs, and now your Sports Illustrated's, your ESPN's are like, who's Terrence Mann? But you know what? You know what? The OG League Fits followers all knew who Terrence Mann was, and they're yeah, not bro. surprised, we just, bro. We want it. We... We don't get us wrong, bro. We love the Terrence Man energy that we're getting right now, but we just wanted that from the beginning, dude. We mm -hmm. were we just wanted that from the begin from the day one. We've been posting Terrence Man. I don't want to see the Terrence Man post. Y'all wasn't with us last no. October when we we're posting Terrence Man, bro. Now, so don't post him now, bro. That's all I gotta say. We just wanted that energy from day one. That's all I gotta yeah. say about that, man. If y'all weren't posting Terrence Man, if you're a sports media outlet and you weren't posting Terrence Man when he was the twelfth man on the Clippers bench. Keep the same energy. Speaking of hoops. Wait, speaking of which, uh, I know this is a yeah. podcast, so unless you're watching on YouTube, you can't see, but Joe, are you holding a basketball right now? I am holding a basketball right now. You can call it a basketball. I call it a comforting device. Okay. Oh, this yeah. helps me feel, this helps me channel all of my nervous energy and brings it all into one spherical orb. I like to call it. So this is, a, this is my little comforting device. I keep my prop with me. Do you have any props over on your end? Do you like have... I know you have a cat on your um, desk right now. Yeah, here, one sec, dog. <laughs> All right, so Ian's grabbing I know this some sort of podcast thing. Here's my prop, bro. So he has a whole he has a whole ass animal on his chest right now. <laughs> this man pulled a whole tiger out. What's what's the cat's name? Big Reg. Big Reg. Yeah. Does Big Reg have an Instagram page? No, dog. I I I already have League Fits to run, man. I don't need another Instagram account. <laughs> How do you how do you feel about how do you feel about animal Instagram pages, um, like pets and stuff? Okay, I think they're cool. They can be cool unless you speak from like your pet's point of view. That's what makes it good, though, dude. Like, no, when, when you're like when it's like, but you like you know the person, and you're reading the captions, and you're like, nope, uh, Greg wrote this caption, not yeah, like, his dog. Up, Jonathan, this you know what cat. I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. That's what it's stuck. Me cool. and my owner went for a walk today. Like, dude, stop. Like, yeah. there's something better. Or you can if do. you're making like a happy Father's Day post to yourself from your pet's account. Good time. You're like, you know? like appreciative for my daddy, you know? Yeah, I feel it. All right, we're kind of we're getting a little hey, off track here. Let's go back anyone, to the hoops. Wait, did anyone call you daddy yesterday? We're getting a little off track here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go right back to the hoops. We got something crazy going on in the Western Conference Finals. You hear me, that boy Devin Booker dropped a 40-point triple-double. I know you're still laughing, but <laughs> that's crazy. Whatever. But Devin Booker dropped a 40-point triple-double. Um, what's the conference final? So we got Suns, Clippers, and then Atlanta, Sixers. Is this is this the four teams no. that we wanted for league fits? No. No, Philly got bounced. Philly got bounced. We got yeah. Atlanta. Oh, yeah. That's what I said. No, you said Sixers. My bad. I don't watch basketball. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> we got, we got, we got Atlanta, Milwaukee, Atlanta. Shit, I said Atlanta twice. Atlanta, okay, no, Milwaukee, wait. Atlanta. We're exposing Mil ourselves right now. Oh, we this don't is watch so bad. Like, we're both getting fired. <laughs> yeah. We're both getting fired. Um, I don't watch no, basketball. okay. I wait. I know this. I know this. I literally checked the app this morning, the NBA app. Right, the Atlanta break. Hawks are playing the Milwaukee Bucks. And the Phoenix Suns are playing the LA Clippers. And the Suns already lead 1-0. Yeah, 40 point triple double. That's the only thing I know. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Okay. I am so disappointed that Atlanta made the Eastern Conference Finals. And I don't know Why, if I can say dude? that. Because it's the most swagless team in the NBA. Yeah, it is. And it's one of the worst. Ah, oh, yeah, I feel like we're being so negative, but it really is one of the worst Twitter accounts. I, I have to like the drip. <laughs> Wait, the Atlanta Hawks Twitter? Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's almost like it's like it's like rivaling like San Antonio and Charlotte. Wait, give me like why? I, I don't go on Twitter anymore, so tell so me. So they have like okay, so I'm on Twitter like every day. They have like this yeah. thing called like the drip tunnel where they like oh. put like a graphic on their picture and it's like the worst. It just doesn't look good. 
Plus, nobody on the team really be stepping out like that. So it's oh, like, I, you know what I'm I know about? what you're talking about. Yes, the it's drip like tunnel. Cursive, um, golden, there's there's another so team that does that too. I think it's the Spurs. No, yeah, the Spurs they do horizontal horizontal pictures. Like they cut okay. off the waist. So to explain for um, people that don't run League Fits and listen to this podcast, we get our pictures from a variety of places. Some come from Getty Images, which is like the NBA's wire image. I don't even know how to describe it because I don't really know what it is. But it's like this mm-hmm. image service that we pay for and we get pictures from. We also go to the team uh, Twitter accounts because a lot of the teams will have their team photographer post pictures you know, before the game. Um, but some of the teams will have like – hashtag drip check is like a yeah. giant watermark over the picture i'm like dog we can't post this. yeah there's no way <laughs> like if there's letters, like the letters are there's, like dripping and shit like what? right if there's like a mountain dew logo in the corner i mean like all right fuck it you know but yeah. no it's the it's the worst i'm with you yeah, um we gotta do that yeah. on one of the on top three worst twitter accounts to follow come on do NBA. a do a who's the redhead white dude in atlanta kevin herder herder yeah herder I know because my player was on the Hawks, and I used to pass it to him a lot. Wait, what about Kevin Herter, though? Um, we should do a Kevin Herter gallery. Absolutely. Right right before I do a J.J. Reddick gallery, because it still hasn't hit the, hit the internet yet. We, we, need need to have J- we need to have J.J. Reddick on this podcast. He has a sick podcast, dude. Yeah, but we have a sick podcast. Wait, so for well, y'all that don't know, Joe loves J.J. Reddick. JJ Reddick fan club. I'm the leader of that. Let's DM him wrong. right now. Let's DM him right now. A pull out your phone. DM? Yeah, pull out okay, your phone right now and let's let's DM JJ Reddick. Let's do this. You're gonna you're gonna write this DM. Yeah, I'm doing I'm already on it. Also, don't share the previous <laughs> I'm not doing that. Yeah, there's no way. For, for anybody who wants to know the previous DMs is like me just being like, hey JJ, huge fan. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's not it's not at all. No. Okay. Right, so what are we writing? I don't know. You tell me. I've I've gotten everyone else to come on the pod. This is your turn. Get someone to come on the podcast. This is Joe shooting his shot. No, okay, that's a terrible word. Joe no. trying to get JJ Reddick on the podcast. This is Live. Joe trying to get JJ Reddick on the podcast. Alright, I'm gonna hit him with a sup, JJ. That's all I got. Sup? You don't think he's more of a what's up? up? Come on, dude. Invite JJ Reddick on the dude. podcast. He went, to Duke. he went to Duke University. He's a sub type of dude. Okay. Sub JJ. We're shooting. Shooting? He's a shooter. Shooting. Yeah, yeah. He's a shooter. Sub JJ. We're shooting a League Fits podcast. Would love for you to. Hop on and come talk fashion with us. <laughs> so JJ, we're shooting a Leafist podcast. We'd love for you to come on and hop hop on and come talk fashion with us. Hashtag no. Hashtag Lego. I don't know. Duke University. Okay, who knows? Send it. Send it. Sent for anybody who's watching. Oh, like let me not show the. Oh shit! I put on vanish mode. All right, whatever. It's it's sent. You know, oh, you turn on power vanish. Of the okay. No, te- you could take vanish mode off. But uh, yeah, the, the power of the internet. JJ Reddick is going to be on the show saying it right now. Before season one of Survival of the Fitted ends, we will have JJ Reddick on the show talking about J. Crew and Men's Warehouse and anything else that you would want to know about. But we're putting that out there right now. What, Wait. Are, what are your thoughts on that, Ian? I added our intern and co host, Wise Joe. Oh. He's your biggest fan. Our in- oh man, he's he's gonna follow me on Instagram now, dude. If I get a JJ Reddick follow on Instagram, Streets is done. Right. So we're gonna have the 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 production production crew cut out this, and we're gonna do a grid post asking JJ to come on the pod. All right, you wanna do that? Hell yeah! Explain to me why you love JJ Reddick so much. All right, you know what? I'm gonna keep this short, and I'm gonna keep this simple. The reason why JJ Reddick is that guy is because he's a man of the he's a man of the culture he's a hooper and he's a fashion icon i feel if you look how a lot of these jj reddick fits not so many other guys in the league can pull this off common projects it's not an easy sneaker to pull off ian common projects is not easy the way that he does it you know what i mean the j crew men's warehouse pants it's not an easy look to pull off you know i tried it 
It didn't go. It didn't go well. I know. We <laughs> Wait, can't you tried I it. Laughing. I tried it. You know, I stood in the I stood in the you know the fitting room of a men's warehouse for an hour too long trying to be JJ Reddick and it didn't go right. You know, but it's all good. It's all good in the hood, man. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna leave it at that. JJ Reddick, my right, league man. fits MVP. All right, let's all right, man. Everybody, thanks for listening to us ramble for like 50 minutes. We got Tyrese Halliburton. Maybe your league fits rookie of the year. Maybe, maybe. Stay tuned. Y'all let us know. Stay tuned. Peace. Yo. Go follow Survival of the Fitted wherever you get your podcasts. And then have three of your friends follow the podcast. And then have three of their friends follow the podcast. And then boom, it's the League Fits Pyramid. So we are out here with Rookie of the Year candidate. And I'm talking about NBA Rookie of the Year candidate. I'm talking about League Fits Rookie of the Year candidate. Tyrese Halliburton, how you doing, dog? I'm good. I'm good, man. Nice to, nice to finally talk to y'all, man. Chop it up. Shit. So... Sure. We gonna start with the hard hitting questions. I know you going up against Lamelo and Anthony Edwards and the NBA Rookie of the Year stuff. I'm not gonna make you talk about that. Are you the league fits Rookie of the Year? I think so. I think I put up a great fight. You know, I I think I uh, I pulled some stuff out this year, but it was a learning process. I never had to adjust mm-hmm. for games before. So uh, next year, I'll, next year I'll be better. But I, I'm 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 already automatic. First team all rookie. If I'm not first team all rookie, I'm getting cheated. But uh, I think I think I'm I think I'm ROI. But you know I, I don't make the final I don't make the final choices. Shit, I think you got a compelling argument though. Yeah, I definitely got the body of work. All right, so we talked about the season. I want to kind of take it back to the draft. I know your draft suit was pretty insane. You got the teal with the maroon, some floral patterns. The real question is, did you have the best suit for for the draft? You think you got the best <laughs> suit for the draft? Is that that's not even a real question? <laughs> like, I don't, there there really wasn't anything. I, come on now, like I knew going into the night, like because you know a bunch of people I knew had like you know deals with like Indochino and mm-hmm. you know all these deals, and yeah. uh, I had a suit deal with Hugo Boss, but I knew I wanted my suit to be like completely original, like, and I knew like if I went to like a bigger company it'd be harder, so I went to like an independent guy, uh, Brandon at Grayscale. They really set it up. I was like, bro, go. I was like, bro, I need to do something floral. I want to do something like on a pattern. I want to do something different. He's like, you know, like different. Like, that's my middle name. Like, let's go. So I'm like, all right. Mm-hmm. He, he FaceTimed me, had like all these swatches and we just picked that. And, and I knew nobody was touching me because I had like a bunch of my homies was obviously in the draft as well. And like, they're showing me their suit. It's like, you know, like maroon or like it's basic. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm cool. I, I know I'm, I know nobody's messing with me. Okay, so you said this year was like the first year you started dressing for games. And obviously, like we don't have to debate it. You had the best draft suit. So was wearing like that sick suit and seeing everybody on the internet being like, damn, like this is sick. Is that what kind of made you like want to start dressing for games? Well, no, nah, I, I mean, I, I've always been very, I guess, it's like judgmental of what people wear to games. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I've been following League Fits since I was in high school. And like, you know, we got like me and my homies like always be like, yo, like this fit is trash. Like, <laughs> are you getting on League Fits with this? Like, I'm good when I get to the league, you know? But like, uh, yeah, it definitely was that all the time. But, uh, you know, like in, in college and high school, like we're just wearing like jump, like our team jumpsuit to the game mm-hmm. in high school. And then in college, like, there ain't like there's cameras back there. Like I'm just putting on a hoodie and some sweats. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, now like the NBA lets you express your, you know, creativity and uh, your fashion sense, you know, re- in uh, a great light. So I'm just, you know, taking advantage of that. Yeah. Yeah, man. It seems like you're pretty in tune with like your style and like you're pretty confident as a dude. I'm not going to lie. So the real, like, what do you, how would you, how would you define your style? Cause I feel like you gave us like a ton of looks this season. Like, I feel like I posted you like 50 times. Like how would you define your style? <laughs> yeah. You know, I think, I'm, I think like, I don't, I don't ever do anything that's like over the top. Uh, I keep it simple. Like my whole life, like I'm, I could find so many pictures of y'all. Like my dad owns like hundreds of like Nike jumpsuits. Like he always wears Nike jumpsuits and like, uh, I think I get my kind of like my fashion sense from him, but like, you know, living in California is nice because we can wear shorts, you know what I'm saying? So I, like I, sure, I'm like really big into shorts. Y'all see, I got like my own shorts with my, own, my logo on them and stuff. So uh, just like, you know, letting, letting my fashion sense come there. And then, uh, you know, I think fashion is 100% just like the confidence in which you wear stuff. Like if you're afraid to wear what you want, then, and then you put some on and you're not confident wearing it, it's, 
whack. Like it always Facts. looks bad. So like you can make anything look good if you just like are confident with it. So uh, yeah, I just try new things from time to time, but I never go like crazy over the top. I'm not like Russ. Like I love Russ though. I love his fashion, <laughs> but it's like I that ain't that ain't me yet. I, I need to mm-hmm. I need to be I need to be nice on the court before I can do that. So for right now, I just you know keep it with, with what I wear. Bro, real shit. It's really it's less about what you wear and how you wear it. You know what for I'm sure. saying? One hundred percent. Um. So you touched on a, a Nike. Your dad had hundreds of Nike jumpsuits, and you got a Nike deal during the middle of the year. Congrats. Um. What's it like? I mean, like someone like me, I don't have a Nike deal, believe it or not. What's it like having a Nike deal? Like, do you have access to like any shoe? Like, obviously you get like the little Nike bag, but like, how does it go? Like, you can you get like whatever you want? Not, you know, I would, I, I think it's easier for guys that are like higher up in the brand. Like, I mean, obviously like guys like Braun, like those guys, they just, it just gets funneled to their house, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. But uh, for me, like if there's something that I want, I just talk to my rep about it uh you know he can't get everything but he can try so uh you know i'm usually tapped in with you know the kobe's and you know like if there's a pair of forces or dunks out that are coming out like i can i can request them uh but you know we obviously all get nike elite accounts so we can go on there but for the most part like i just be getting stuff from my family uh you know i love i love like older stuff so a lot of times it's it, it's easy to get a to talk to your rep about getting an upcoming release but like he yeah. can't go back and give me like Travis ones. You know what I mean? Like, right. that's cooked. Like I got to go on eBay if I want to get a pair. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So, uh, yeah, it, it definitely helps being like more tapped in. It, it, it helps get a lot of different stuff. So moving forward, you're straight. You don't have the sneakers app on your phone anymore. No, I, I deleted it as soon as that deal started. Sneakers as soon as you inked the deal. Yeah. Inked the deal, deleted the app. Goodness yeah, gracious. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. So... Um, you rep the team hard. Like you wear a lot of Kings gear, whether it's like a Jason Williams jersey or like the Swish Kings collab stuff. Um, and you dropped a little bit in the draft at twelve. Um, be honest, did did you force your way to go to Sacramento at twelve because you wanted to walk in the tunnel that had the dripping logo? <laughs> yeah. No, no, I ain't forced my way there. But the drip hallway is nice. The drip hallway is nice. But there, there's some nice tunnels out in the league, man. Like Brooklyn. Brooklyn is undefeated. That Wait, tunnel. rank them. Rank your rank your top like three or five tunnels, not including Sacramento. Actually, yeah, include Sacramento. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Brooklyn number one. Okay. Like, they got the whole red carpet. They had everything in there. Mm-hmm. You would think Madison Square Garden would be better, but they got like the uphill walkway. Like I think that's whack. it's super. It's like all concrete. It feels like a, yeah. like a parking garage. I like the I like Staples Center though. With the mm-hmm. background like you can't touch that. Like that's that's. That's tough. Obviously, I like our drip hallway. I wish there was like more of a walkway, like you just walk down mm. the stairs and then you, you know, walk out. But right. uh, you know, I think I gotta put us in the in that top three there. Uh, Dallas is tough. I was that, I was oh, gonna wait. I was saying Dallas is tough, but the thing is, like that tunnel is more so for. It's like weird because I guess like the tunnel is more so for like Mavericks players. You know what I mean? Like it's got the right. blue background, so like as an away player. You can like decide if you want to walk through that or you can walk around it. Like I walk through it every time, but it's like, you know, the background's all Maverick stuff. So it's like, it's not as cool. You know what I'm saying? But if I was in Dallas, it'd be tough. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's, that's, but, but there's other places that like, obviously the walk-ins better for home teams and they are away teams. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like Houston is tough for like uh, the home team. And like, I don't know, I think there's a lot of different places, but I would definitely say Brooklyn, LA, Sacramento, those are my top three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's a good list. Um, I've only walked through the Staples Center tunnel and that was pretty tough, but I'll take your word on the other one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Subtle rewinding flex. back to the awards that we do, you know, we started them, I started them in 2018, um, calling them the All Drip Awards. You know, now it's 2021. I, I got to ask, like, is, is Drip still cool? The word? Yeah, is the word drip still cool, bro? I think so. I think so. What else would you call? I mean, but the, the, the problem is then like the 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 older like the mm-hmm. older people started using it. So it's like That's what I'm saying. Like once I started seeing like House of Highlights using like drip and captions, I was like, ah shit, it's too mainstream now. Right, for sure. I think drip has became maybe like swag. You know what I'm saying? Like Right, like, yes. It, it's it's at that territory. So ah, you know, maybe I'll, 
I still, let's I still, let's pick a new word right now. Yeah. Do we have a Do we have any suggestions for a replacement? That's a real question. Yeah. We need a replacement. What are like? Are there even any options? Like I can't even think wave. Of I say yeah, wave wavy a lot. waves. Um. Elijah Hughes says swag. Bring it back. Yeah, we could yeah, bring back. back. I mean, everything comes back. It, it's everything comes right. back in style, so that could work. Uh, we got to find a new word for drip. I think that's the reason drip has stayed around. Actually, is not because it's still cool, but just because no one has found a replacement. Yeah, I, I agree. I think so. Yeah, we got to think, think of something. Wavy, something. wavy is something though. Wavy's cool. Yeah. Like, ugh, yeah. I don't know. That's hard. But I, I don't got a problem with drip right now. It, it's working for me. Yeah. The word works for me, but maybe eventually we have to change it. All right. It's like, you know, it's like in the latter half of its career, like it can't really dunk no more, but like it's a good locker room presence. Like, yes. As a corner for three sure. pointer. <laughs> for sure. Drip, drip, is on a, drip is on a 10 day. Drip is on a 10 day right now. Yeah. 10 day sure. contract. Expiring contract for sure. Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> Yo, so you kind of touched on it earlier with the Nike deal and having things sent your way. Um, but another question that we asked Austin Rivers and he gave us a great answer for was, What's the craziest thing or maybe favorite thing too that anybody's ever sent you so far in your rookie year? Like maybe it could be a brand, it could be a fan, like some crazy thing that they sent you, but like what is either your favorite or craziest thing they've ever sent you so far? Oh man, that's a great question. Nike has blessed me with some stuff. I've gotten some really cool stuff from Nike. Um, you know, I don't know if you guys saw like the Jackie Robinson, Ken Griffey Jr. collab. Mm-hmm. Like they like th- th- that was cool. Like, I don't know if I'll wear them. Like it doesn't really fit my style, but like it was, it was cool to receive. You know what I'm saying? Like there, there's not yeah. like a ton, a ton out there. You know, obviously I've like uh, a lot of brands have sent stuff throughout the year that I've really messed with. Um, but nothing really like stands out. I guess my fate, I- I'm really, I guess this is like maybe a boring answer, but like I'm really getting into dunks. Like I'm rocking with dunks heavy. I told my rep, like, yo, I need dunks. And he sent me, like, three pair, and they hadn't even, like, released yet. I think they're all out now. But he just, like, sent them to the crib, and it was like, all right, I'm nice. Like, that was the first time I ever was, like, <laughs> that was the first time I ever was, like, yo, like, you know, like, can you send them? Can you? That was a, I feel like that was the first time I was ever, like, yo, like, you know, I'm into this. Like, can you just send me some stuff? Like, please. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah, no problem. And he just, they were here. And like, shout out to my guy, Diego. He got, he got me right. I got to. The Michigan dunks, the Michigan State dunks. I got those uh, before they – and the uh, the black and white pair. I wear those, like, every day. So I've been living in those. But, nah, nothing nothing ridiculous yet. Nothing's well, cra- nothing super crazy. That's because dunks look good with the no-show socks and shorts, which is kind of your thing. So speaking of which, how many pairs of shorts do you think you own? I was just packing for Hawaii and I was going through all my shorts. I, I, I would probably say like, like 50 or 60. Damn. I, I kind of was going to expect more. But it might be more because like I told y'all, like I, own, I have my own shorts, like my own logo on them and they're not released mm-hmm. yet. Like it's just, I have every colorway and then friends and family got to pick out of colorways. But like, oh, oh shit, that's that's crazy. Are, are me and Joe gonna be on the scene oh, for, for the Tyrese? I'll no. swing them. I'll swing them. That ain't no worries. But like, I got like, <laughs> I definitely got more than fifty or sixty. I probably got like thirty five of just my logo shorts. I yeah. Swear. Dang. Well, think about it. You just played like what, like seventy something games. You wore shorts for almost every game. I'm guessing you have more shorts that you didn't wear in the tunnel. I, I'll say like, mm, I'll say like eighty. Eight more okay. eighty. I'll say there. Mm-hmm. So good answer. Until we do this podcast a year from now, and it's like two hundred. Yeah, then it's gonna. Yeah, it, it. The price going up this summer. I gotta start. I gotta start getting more pants. I don't got enough jeans. Like I just started getting to like stack denim and stuff. Like that's fire to me. So I. Ooh, okay. I gotta I see. I'm coming up that's this we, summer. You told me year two was gonna be special. I see you. Year two is gonna be special. It's gonna be very special. So if this year, if the rookie year was the short shorts, no show socks year, I'm I'm curious, were like the Sacramento Kings like thrilled about that? Because it meant you were like in the weight room doing like leg work more often? <laughs> in the work. <laughs> well, the thing is like, I don't care about like the skinny legs jokes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's, <laughs> that's tough to me. Like, I like the skinny, the mm-hmm. skinny leg look. So, uh, no, I just love the comments in, on the on the post, like, he skips leg day. Like wait, uh, people say that? I I totally like wasn't kidding when I asked that question. All the time, all the times, like, 
oh my god like why is he showing his legs like like chicken legs he's in the weight room like i've been getting that my whole life like I wear, I wear short shorts on the court as well so it's like in high school they were always chanting that and stuff and it's like that is not gonna throw me off you know what i'm saying like well, is, shit. Now I fucking is. now now I fucking feel bad for asking that question, man. Nah, don't feel <laughs> Instigating, bad. Instigating, dude. <laughs> don't feel bad. Goodness gracious. Wait, but like, if anyone ever says that, though, you can be like, "Oh, I might have skinny legs. You might have thick legs, but can you dunk?" Yeah, I mean, like, what does that mean? Like, right? I don't, I don't understand it. Like, Kevin Durant has skinny legs, and he's done pretty well for himself. So, uh, <laughs> you know, people just yeah. be talking. They be bored. Uh, yeah, dog, it's like kids in Nebraska, bro. Don't sweat it. Facts, super facts, who wear the same jeans and uh, beat up beat up checkerboard vans every day. Yeah, che- the checkerboard vans are super dirty forces, the same jeans and like a Ralph Lauren, like a Ralph Lauren t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You're from the Midwest, yeah, you get it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure, I've seen that look enough in my life. Me too, dog. All right, so I have a quick question. This is a question to ask all our guests on this podcast. Um, so you've been in the league for a year, so you kind of got the little, you know what I mean? You, you, got, you came, came through there. So if you had to pick who's like the top five waviest in the league right now, like you had to pick a top five, first team, like who would you put on that list? Shea, obviously, number one. Uh, Nikhil, yeah, both of them are tough. I rock with both of them heavy. Um, I think Russ just like he's just like a vet in the game, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can't you can't touch that. Like those those are probably like top three, and then from there, I think there's so many different options. Uh, oh man, that's a great question. I gotta think deeper on that. Wait, but we're, is Tyrese Halliburton in the top five? That's what that's I'm, a real question. Nah, I don't. I, I ain't gonna gas myself up that much. I still got room to grow. Come still soon. Gotta, come, come coming soon. soon though. Though. Comes to a top rookie though, top rookie. But mm-hmm. let me keep... who are even other options? Like, uh, we got who else? PJ, Jordan Clarkson, Jordan uh, Clarkson, Jordan Clarkson, Jordan Clarkson's top mm-hmm. five for sure. Yeah, he's tough. And like who Kuzma, it... bro, put yourself on the list, bro. I'm waiting for it. Like, <laughs> I. Kuz, Terrence Mann, um, Kevin Love. All right, I'm not. No, I'm. I'm putting Tyrese Halliburton. Wait, myself. wait, 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 wait. Who? Which name did you not mess with? <laughs> no, you were just. You kept going. You kept going. I'm like, all right. Relax. <laughs> You're I'm like, not, nah, I'm, I'm just rocking with myself. I'll put me at five. <laughs> I'll go five. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> so if you're if you're that fifth, if you're that fifth, right? So what's the best fit that you think you put together this year? Like your favorite fit that you wore this season? Wow. Um, I'd probably say the fit I just posted on my IG in that uh, I had like a Thriller t-shirt on with like a red suede schmeel hat with like my like uh, my logo all over print shorts with the Valentine, Valentine's Day forces. I was like, I, I thought that one was it. It had me feeling well. It had me feeling good about that. Oh, I know exactly which one you're talking oh, yeah, about. Yeah. But, but also yeah. the one I wore in Brooklyn, I uh, I had the vintage Nike Trapper Keeper. Uh, oh, ooh, I remember that. The, I posted that one. With That's the, hard. With the purple stay cool, uh, uh, like uh, quarter zip with the veil jeans and the purple ones. Yeah, that that's yeah. my because people were like, because I knew the Trapper Keeper was different. Like he nobody's nobody's pulling out the Trapper Keeper, so. Tom, I remember the comments for that. It's crazy. Yeah, because Tommy pulled Tommy uh, pulled up on me in my hotel. Uh, we were in Brooklyn. He's like, I don't know what you could do with this, but like, take this. And I was like, I actually have an outfit that will go perfect with that today. So that it just it was it was thrown together in like a day. I thought it was a pretty cool cool look. Wait, hold up. So you said, by the way, those shorts. I know exactly which outfit you're talking about. Those are the shorts that you're making. Sick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Second, you mentioned that one of your favorite fits came in Brooklyn. Do you save your best outfits for the tunnels that you rock with the most? Uh, well, to be honest, like I didn't know anything about the tunnel in Brooklyn when we went and played there. Okay. Um, okay. But yes, now in the future, like I hope to bring out my best fit when we play the Nets. Got you, got you, got you. Um, before we head out, I gotta ask. Um, 
there's a few people that you know check into the ig lives the the league fit show and tells a lot you're one of them um what do you think about our boy Donovan, the, the young go? You think he's going to run League Fits one day? Yeah, I hope so. I talk to him all the time on DMs. I DM'd him. Uh, we talk all the time, but he's uh, he's super funny. I love it. I just love his comments. Like, sometimes he'll get on there while he's playing the video game. He's like, yep. He's like, oh, we hit pause. Like, it's my shirt. Like, <laughs> these are my shorts. These are my, my shoe. And everybody's like, everybody's like, let's go. Like, everybody's mm-hmm. so hyped for him. I love it. I love it. I just love the – I think it's cool, like, fan interaction, too. Like, I think everybody – it enjoys it because like there's one thing people can all get around in the basketball world for the most part it's fashion so uh, that's what that's what makes it fun no that's 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 a cool kid well yo um we appreciate you tapping in today my guy we hope you enjoy hawaii and this time next year i can't wait to see what playoff fits you pulling out yep for sure for sure i appreciate you guys yo that was dope that was tyrese halliburton maybe the league fits rookie of the year maybe 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 and so we're gonna go through this mailbag you know we post on the story we're like hey yo send us questions here's the first one what's the difference between bold and taking a risk and trying too hard and being goofy do you want to answer this one first or are you lobbing it to me go ahead well, if I had to say, I would say the difference between being bold and taking a risk and trying too hard and being goofy is if you're drawing from like a place of interest, I feel like you can you can kind of like you can take a risk. Like if you I don't know, like if you listen to like rock music and then one day you pull up with like I don't know, like mascara or like your nails painted or in some boots, it's like your friends will probably be like, okay, that's a little different, but like, I can see where you're coming from. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if you're like being, if you're just like trying too hard and you pull up with like a leather lime green suit on, it's like, dude, where, like, where's this coming from? Like, I feel like that's, that's all you're like saying. All you're saying is stay true to you, but turn it up a little bit. Turn your, what turn your six is, turn your nine. existing six into a nine. Okay, we can choose a couple better letters than that. We'll turn it, or a couple dude, better that's numbers a, than dude, that. that. That's a Jimmy, that's a Jimi Hendrix lyric. He's like, is that a Drake turn, lyric? No, turning the sixes into nines. I mean, maybe it is. I'm 22. All right, whatever. But I'm 24. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, whatever. What do you feel like? What's 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 uh, um? What's your? I mean, I kind of agree with you. It's just based on like how you wear it, and if it's true to you, you could take like what you normally wear, and if you want to turn it up, like turn up your fashion shit. Like you don't have to reinvent yourself. Just take what you're currently doing and like boost that up a few levels you know what i mean so you yeah, you like- don't have to like to like take a risk you don't have to like be someone new just stay true to you anyway next question was just what are some brands you're feeling at the moment i'm gonna go first um the brand i'm feeling the most at the moment is uh league fits because we're dropping merch in july boom, 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 boom. and we just Our had a photo number. shoot we just yeah okay. it's so it's a collab with change of heart and which is a brand it's cool. bring that in but okay and we shot the merch in malibu the other day um we actually had picked the scenic overlook to shoot it shoot it in the palisades and we got there and we realized it was like a four mile hike up to the lookout points <laughs> and like the model showed up and like her, her makeup was gonna sweat off and it was a oh, mess so. it was like it was a mess um but luckily this is southern california and so we drove 10 minutes and we went to the beach and we shot this merch in malibu and it looks sick and you guys are gonna love the merch there's pants a jacket and a hoodie and i wear the pants like every day so my favorite brand yeah, I've seen, is I've seen, I've seen the pants they look amazing mm-hmm. and then we're doing what, our what own what material are we rocking with because they look kind of <laughs> i don't know kinda, <laughs> i forget i forget actually shiny yeah, yeah, no, it's supposed it's not leather though. It's like, but it kind of looks leathery. It's dope. And then we're also launching the whole League Fits line like a month after that, which is not a collab. It's, that's gonna be a sick photo shoot. I'm I got like a mansion. We're gonna like Jaguar or Tiger or Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get us a I'm trying to get us a jungle cat. Jungle which cat. Which y'all will see why. All right, Joe, what brands are you feeling? Um, you know, I'm really rocking with Slam. You know what I mean? Shout out to the okay. No, 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 no. Like who? What? Know. No. Okay, okay. What brands are you rocking with? Don't worry. Okay, no, I'm rocking with. Uh, that was that might have been a paid, paid, uh, paid thing to say, but um, I'm rocking with, I'm rocking with primitive. 
you know, shout out, shout out to Primitive. You know, they oh, Paul, us a lot Paul, of, uh, Paul Rodriguez. Paul Rodriguez, is, um, you know, it's a skate brand. Like skateboarding streetwear company. Yeah. Yeah. They it's showed like, us a lot of love. They sent us a lot of stuff. And I feel like they showed us a lot of love. So shout out to Primitive, man. Yeah. Shout out. You know what it is. You shout, shout out to everyone. Lotus? Sh- yeah. Shout out. Shout out anyone that sends me a Joe Free clothes. Yeah. Sh- if you, if you've sent me, oh, uh, shout out to Grace Court. Yeah. If you shout out to Do Not Disturb. Clothes, yeah, if you sending us free clothes in the last six months, like, shout out to you. You have a special yeah. place in my heart. I I know you guys don't know this, but we actually uh don't make a lot of money. Um, for this podcast, we actually don't make any money for this podcast. So thanks for the love. All right, yeah, thanks for Mr. Rap. Bye guys, bye guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Survival the Fitted, Terry's Halliburton, Elijah Hughes coming up next. Click, click, bang, bang. We out. Sure, sure. Go follow Survival of the Fitted wherever you get your podcast. Tell them that Intern Joe sent you. Click the follow button. Go follow Survival of the Fitted.